Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick video about solid-state drives. For those of you in the market for a brand new laptop or desktop computer, or if you're looking to improve the performance of your current machine, an SSD upgrade is one of the best ways of accomplishing that goal. You can see I've got two different types, brands, and actual capacities of SSDs to share with you today. The AMD R7 480 gig version on the left and on the right I've got the Samsung 840 EVO 1TB SSD. Now these are very different in terms of capacity and generally price point. For my purposes, just to give you a little bit of background, uh, I was trying to decide between going with the single 1TB solution from Samsung which was competitively priced in my opinion one of the best values especially over uh, the holiday weekend that is Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, that wonder that it is. And the same applies to the uh, R7 on the left, and that's why there are two of them. That would be for a RAID 0 configuration, really maximizing performance. I'm not going to get into RAID 0, RAID 1 right now with all of you. Uh, but this video is, again, simply about SSDs, and that's because they are not all created equally. And the reason I'm sharing these two specifically is because they are some of the best performers on the market. Now, keep in mind, uh, the 840, there's already an 850. There's an 850 Pro as well, which is really one of the best non-PCI Express SSDs in the world. Uh, this is also, surprisingly, the AMD R7, which is manufactured by OCZ under the Toshiba a company, or at least Umbrella, is also one of the fastest non-PCI Express drives in the world. It ranks, I believe, seventh in the world right now uh, based on user benchmarks, which is incredible. It's insane. Uh, the 120 and 240 gig capacities do not bring in those sort of benchmarks, so don't expect that performance there. Those drives are fairly discounted already. This thing is still sitting firm at 280 unless you pick it up uh, from Fry's, and this is really the underdog here in this little SSD update that I'm sharing today because when you even buy just one of these, the performance is simply uh, mind-numbing. It's right there with the Samsung, actually even best, the 850, uh, or it's right there with it is what I should say, a negligible difference on performance. So that's amazing for a drive that right now from Fry's you can pick up for, I don't know if it's 170 or 180 after rebate, but that's just insane. And that's why I've got two of them sitting here. This is probably the direction I'll be going, a RAID 0 configuration with the AMD R7s. And for those of you that follow my channel, you know I'm a big NVIDIA fan. So uh, taking this kind of marketing, I'll, I won't call it a disaster, but it is sort of a disaster because I don't think, think that these drives have sold very well. It's part of the reason that I was able to get them on sale, and that's why Fry's uh, is pushing them. Uh, is because of the fact that they are kind of lacking identity. You know, they've got the AMD name, but AMD didn't make them. It's OCZ, and really OCZ is Toshiba because Toshiba purchased OCZ. So it's a confusing thing, whereas with the Samsung, you know exactly what you're getting. Again, even though an 850 version of this drive has hit the market, and of course the Pro 850 is out there as well, uh, forget about the 840 Pro, uh, the fact remains that performance is really, really close on the Samsung when it comes to its peer products. In other words, the new 850. And in terms of pricing, a little over 400 for this drive, but on Black Friday over the holiday weekend, this drive was sub 400 in a big way, somewhere around 350, even 340. So these were both very affordable, I would say very good performing drives. I mean, the R7, incredible. Uh, the one terabyte EVO, uh, 840, you're looking at, I believe, again, I'm going on memory, it was either 16th or 17th best in real world performance. So 7 versus 17 or 16, whatever it may have been, this may have even been, been 6th, which is just amazing because, again, keep in mind, that's factored in with PCI Express SSDs. For those of you, those of you unfamiliar, uh, those are the fastest drives on the market available. They're in a completely different class than these traditional SSDs that use serial ATA connections. Uh, and if this is all over your head, then I congratulate you on making it this far into the video. But those of you that subscribe know I am covering more PC hardware now, so this will become uh, a regular uh, element of the channel. Uh, but uh, basically what it comes down to is what's best for your needs. You know, if you're going with something like the RAID 0 that I'm going to do here with the two AMD R7s, 
you're going to get uncompromised performance, basically the best in the business when it comes to speed, both on the read and write side world. Uh, if you aren't worried about the fact that it does run a slightly higher risk than any other RAID configuration, I don't want to get too far into this, uh, but essentially because you're leveraging both drives as a single drive, uh, if anything goes wrong with one of the drives, data is going to be lost across both. Of course, if anything goes wrong with the one terabyte Samsung EVO, well, it's toast as well. And that's why you've got to keep things backed up. No question about it. That is key. Uh, in terms of warranty, something I want to point out, and this also speaks to what a steal uh, the AMD drives are, the R7s, uh, you're looking at a three-year warranty with the SAMI, which is good, don't get me wrong, uh, but in terms of durability, there's a reason this drive gets a four-year warranty. Uh, it is rated for, I think, 30 gigs a day, and it does have a longer lifespan, at least on paper and testing, uh, than the EVO line. So the EVO line has Samsung's marketing, the brand, uh, all of that going for it, and performance to back it up. And I don't care what the numbers are that manufacturers release anymore on read-write speeds. It's kind of like battery life, unfortunately. Uh, they'll brag about peak read-write, and then real-world performance just simply isn't what you expected. Uh, the good news here is that both of these drives do deliver that. Now, whether or not you want to go with a RAID configuration, again, is a matter of personal preference. I know a lot of people that want you know, less is more. They'd rather have a single drive uh, than have more pieces of hardware that could potentially fail for a performance gain that they don't necessarily see even worthwhile. Forget about economically feasible uh, or worthy of that um, extra, you know, power sucker there in the system. So it's all a matter of personal preference. And for me, this was the choice basically going with the one terabyte 840 EVO or the RAID config of the R7s. And Despite my affection for NVIDIA, and I, it's not a distaste for AMD, but I certainly am not looking for an AMD-branded drive that's really, at the end of the day, a Toshiba, because you can see right here, it does have OCZ branding, but the reality is, is that this is a Toshiba drive. I mean, this is a product of uh, basically what Toshiba has done to take over OCZ and turn things around, because OCZ did have some QC problems. Uh, not initially, but a little bit later on, that hurt reputation, and now they are on the comeback, or at least trying to through Toshiba. And you can see the read-write speeds, the max, 540, 550. I mean, this is best in class, even in the, uh, I would say, 120 and 240, but it's where the 480 really shines to have that uh, 550 and 500. And the 240 is quoted as being the same, but again, uh, from what I've seen in testing, the 480 is faster. Uh, Sammy, uh, basically, you know, you're still looking at almost exactly the same numbers on paper. I'm looking to see if they even quote it here because I do not see the actual uh, read-write on here, but I believe it's also very close to that. I think it's actually rated faster, 540 or 550 and 530. So it just goes to show you that this drive claims to be faster than the R7, but this is, again, the sixth or the seventh fastest real-world SSD out there. So the 240 is the sweet spot. That's priced affordably. Uh, this one, unless you get it on sale again, is not. And of course, this, just because it's a one terabyte and that's still the largest capacity SSD available, you're going to pay a heavy premium for it all year round, no matter when it drops to sale or not. Uh, those Black Friday, you know, that holiday weekend pricing is probably not going to be seen for this drive for quite some time uh, because overall it seems like Black Friday was a bit of a bust which lent to me or at least common sense dictates means that retailers aren't hurting. Uh, they aren't looking to give anything away. So uh, that's why it was important to share, in my opinion, to quality SSDs that you can still find if you keep an eye out. Uh, and of course I'll include link, uh, links to both uh, for Amazon. Uh, but if you keep your eye out, you may be able to find these on sale in the very near future. Uh, keep in mind also the 840 has been on the market for a year. Uh, this drive came out in August. So the R7 is a much younger device or drive SSD. And again, uh, four-year warranty with the AMD drive, really Toshiba, OCZ, uh, three-year with the Samsung 
840 EVO. And go ahead and chime in the comments. You know, do you prefer RAID 0, RAID 1? Are you uh, constantly worried you're going to lose all of your data so you're keeping it backed up? Uh, or, as I mentioned before, do you like to keep things clean and simple? And a one terabyte SSD is what you've been chasing for a long time like me. Now I've got to hope I just don't fold and end up keeping everything you're looking at here on the table. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.